Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World Vlog or YouTube channel, whichever one you want to say. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like me and if not, I hope it gets better for you. That's why you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it and these things will surely come to you guys, yeah? All right, y'all. So getting right into it. I'm very excited. You guys, we're going to close out the month of June with my Pride video and dedication to Pride Month. Are, uh, for those who are uh, of the LGBTQ, I just say, look, look here, I'm, I'm, I'm being real with y'all. I don't know all the alphabets, <laughs> and so I just say the community or the gay community, so I don't mean no pun, but every time I look up, it's like another alphabet been been added, so the gay community. <laughs> this is in dedication to you guys. Um, I, I like to say I'm part of that community as well, because although people often uh, would assume that I'm a lesbian or I'm bisexual, I'm actually a straight woman. I just like to dress, you know, manly. I grew up as a tomboy, but I do consider myself to be a part of the community because I am an ally, I'm a friend, I'm one that, you know, speaks out and against bullying or, or any type of, you know, form of, of mental anguish for those who are feeling suicidal because of their sexuality. I speak out against that. And so, I, yes, I, I will say I'm part of that community when it comes to, you know, speaking out and being an ally for those who are in need of it. Um, but in any case, <laughs> uh, with this video is basically I'm going to be giving you guys some facts, uh, information, resources for those who may need it, as well as just sharing my personal opinion, you know, in regards to, you know, that big topic that everybody, you know, is considered taboo or don't like to talk about, you know, homosexuality. And so... Um, like I said here at Third Eye and Difference World, this is what we do. We talk about these issues that are often swept under the rug. And I thought, you know, what better way, you know, to end out the month of June than dedication and close out and uh, doing this video. Uh, I see a lot of the times people like to jump on the bandwagon and, and capitalize off it. So I didn't want, that's why I purposely waited until the end of June. So I didn't want to hear people saying, oh, you're just jumping on the bandwagon. No, it's not for me. Um, so getting right into it, or, or we already into it, but talking more about it, you guys. Um, uh, let's just talk about the history and how you know gay rights got started and, and how it what led to it, you know, being what it is today, you know, and people having their rights to marry whoever they choose. Um, so this started back in 1969 with the Stonewall uh, Acts. I did my research, so a little little chapter for what I remember. It started June 28, 1969, and it lasted until July. Second, third, 1969, uh, happened in the um, Greenwich or the Lower Manhattan District. Uh, it was where um, it was said to one uh, drag queen or cross dresser took a bottle and heaved it at the police in protest of their race that they were often uh, faced with. Police would do raids on gay bars uh, back in the day and they would arrest them. And so one person, you know, finally had enough. And they, they, you know, fought back and, you know, lit the match for those who to, to follow. And uh, fast forward, you know, decades later, 2015, you know, they finally have, you know, the right to marry, you know, whoever they choose and legalize it and be recognized. Um, what I want to say about that is, is for me, and I don't care what nobody says in regards to, you know, if you don't agree with homosexuality in the whole, you're a homophobe. I don't care about that. What, what I will say about what homosexuality is, here are three main rules. In, in, in regards to homosexuality, whatever your sexuality is, here are my three rules that I follow. Number one, you cannot help who you love. Number two, it's your right to love whoever you want to love. And number three, it's nobody's business who you choose to love and what you guys do behind closed doors. Okay? Now, as far as, you know, same-sex marriage goes... I personally, I do not acknowledge it as a holy matrimony brought before God. However, I do respect that it is a legalized union, and I'm not going to sit there wasting my time trying to convince people otherwise, or this is wrong, or God doesn't like this, or he's not going to acknowledge this. No, that's your business. I respect that, but just respect my opinion and knowing that I do not acknowledge it as man and man or woman and woman. But I do acknowledge that you guys are in a civil and legal union, and I respect that, and I'm happy for those. Um, and so if you guys don't like my opinion with that, oh, well, that, that's what it is. I, you guys, it takes respect to get respect. And so when you come in my world, in Difference World, and you, you see these videos and me sharing my true thoughts and opinion, and you may not like what you hear, that's okay. That's fine. It is what it is. 
but for for me I respect same-sex marriages however I cannot acknowledge it as a man and man or husband and husband and wife and wife because God did not intend it for it to be that way and, and I don't my opinion I don't believe God will bless what he has already called an abomination however legal wise and and and, and just human wise <laughs> that's your business you choose that's your cross to bear I'm not again gonna sit here and waste my time judging and trying to point my finger knowing I'm not squeaky clean either you know my cup of sin isn't homosexuality but I'm a heathen as well I got some ways too that I need to work on yeah and so congrats to those who you know have their right and they won in 2015 um, if uh, you know a gay friend of mine invited me to their wedding I would definitely come um, but that's just my opinion on that with the same-sex marriages. I do feel, you know, you guys have that right, and I'm glad that you guys have finally, you know, been given that right to do so and, and receive those fringe benefits the same as, you know, man and wife would receive when they're working. So I do believe in that, uh, as well as, you know, adoption with same-sex marriages. That's, that's perfectly fine with me, too. I, I encourage that, man. I, me growing up in foster care, if... if, if if I'd grown up in it, uh, well, I didn't grow up and I spent four years in foster care, but had I grown up in foster care and, and needed that adoption or wanted to be adopted, I wouldn't have cared if it was, I would have ended up with a same-sex marriage or not. As a matter of fact, coming up and, you know, when my mom fell on hard times, I actually had, you know, we lived with my aunt who is, you know, in a same-sex relationship and they've been together since the 70s. And so for us, it was, it was normal. It's, it's, nothing it didn't bother me or anything and so um seeing you know two people you know same sex walking hand in hand and, and down the street that doesn't bother me you know you guys don't have to worry about me you know looking and, and pointing and making them faces or in judgment to for one i can empathize and sympathize with you guys because i know how it feels to be called you know derogatory names you know like dyke and, and carpet muncher i've been called those plenty of times you know by people on the streets, even my family. And so I know what that, how that feels like. And so because I've been in that situation, I refuse to make others feel that way. So I can assure you, that's why I say I'm an ally because you, you don't have to worry about me, you know, getting in a conversation to where I'm looking down my nose at somebody for the way that they live their lives. That's their business, not mine, okay? Uh, other facts I wanna share with you guys, um, <clears throat> that I found on the, on the, on the internet, uh, one in four people or 23% of the population identify openly as homosexuals. So that's a fairly small amount when you think about it. It's about, what, 9, 10 million people in the world? So about 23 million people um, that are homosexuals or identify as a homosexual. So, you know, that's not that bad, if you will. <laughs> people like to think, oh, the whole world's turning gay. No, it's not. <laughs> so just miss, it's just a small number. Get over it. Um, also, uh, unfortunately, as far as the suicide rate, 33% of people of the gay community uh, attribute to that uh, rate of suicide, um, again, because either dealing with bullying or not being able to cope with or deal with, you know, the fact that, that that's who they are, you know, their sexuality, <laughs> they are attracted to their same sex, they often take their lives, man, and, and that's for one thing, again, what I push for and strive for to bring the social awareness on these topics, man, because the, the, the deeper issue underlies is that mental anguish and mental health that we go through with these things. And so again, I want to take the time to say anybody out there that is a part of the gay community that's been bullied, uh, have anxieties, feeling suicidal, or you know somebody that is, please, please know that it is okay to not be okay. But again, just don't sit there and not be okay, man. Go get help and go talk with somebody about the issues. Go come up with a plan of action and how you can figure out to, to come out to the world and live your truth, man. You have that right to, to live your life the way you see fit and, and to hell with everybody else's judgment. And so with that, again, know that it's okay to not be okay or even to be gay. <laughs> but just don't sit there and not be okay and not be okay, man. So if you need to, call the suicide prevention line at one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five, or you can call the I believe it's LGBT again. I don't want to <laughs> say the wrong, you know, alphabet. So the gay um, crisis hotline. Oh, that's not the the title for it, but the gay crisis hotline. 
at 1-866-488-7386. So 866-488-7386 is the hotline number that you guys can call. Or you can visit online at thetrevorproject.org if you need more information or resources. Or you can check your local listings or do your own homework and research for that uh, matter, you guys. Uh, right now, I think it would be a good time to do a little break and do a moment of silence for those who are part of the gay community that are no longer here with us and they have lost their lives due to either suicide or even hate crimes. Um, Unfortunately, that's a, a major issue in the community, in the gay community, dealing with hate crimes and, and suicide. And so I want to take this moment uh, and give a moment of silence for those who have lost their lives, as well as I want to take a moment of silence and for uh, Brittany Griner, who is part of the, the uh, gay community. She's a female basketball player. Uh, also, she's a Houstonian. Uh, she's a black woman, and a uh, fun fact, we actually went to school together in 10th grade year in Nimitz High School, so I definitely want to send my thoughts and prayers out there to her. For those who don't know, uh, she's been uh, detained in Russia for about 8 to 10 months um, for something about vaping cartridges they caught her with at the airport um, and facing up to 10 years in the prison in Russia, and so they've had her overseas all this time and, and people haven't spoke up on the issue and haven't are just now bringing light to the issue she's been over there this whole time and so uh big shout out to bg Brittany griner keep your head up um it's gonna be all right and and i want to dedicate this to you as well so moment of silence for those All right, everybody, we're back for my moment of silence for those uh, who have lost their lives uh, to suicide, as well as hate crimes, hate crime, excuse me, for those who are a part of the gay community, as well as in dedication and silence for Brittany Griner, uh, who is over in, again, in Russia, who, who's um, fighting the legal issues there. So shout out to her. Keep your head up. You know, you're showing black queen and, and Houston got you. We holding you down. And so with that being said, you guys moving on. Uh, with this segment, I uh, want to close out in a positive manner and, and give you guys your flowers, those who are part of the you know gay community. Um, keep you guys' head up. Don't let nobody tell you different. Be proud of who you are, even if if the person next to standing right next to you isn't or they don't like you. Oh well, man. You go where you celebrate it and not where you tolerate it. Don't waste your time trying to, you know, convince people that you're a good person or, you know, just because you, you have some flaws, you're a bad person or you're a deviant person. Don't let that stop you, man. You know, it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. That's what I learned, you know, coming up and dealing with that being, being labeled, you know, as a closeted person or, or being accused of, you know, being on the down low and, and or, or whatever, you know, that, that for me, in my teenage years, it did used to bother me, and it forced me to the point to where, you know, I had started, you know, having sex with dudes just to prove a point. But now as I'm older and I'm in my 30s, man, I just don't give a damn. You know, you think what you think of me, you know, because I dress how I dress. Oh, well, you know, I'm confident in who I am. I know who I am. And I know what type of freaky shit I like to do behind the doors and who I like to do it with, too. So it don't matter what anybody says. And so, you know... That's how you guys should feel about it. Gay, straight, whoever you are, whatever you choose to, to, to who who you who you fuck behind behind closed doors and take to red lobster at like Beyonce said, that's your business. <laughs> so, um, like I said, just be proud of who you are, you know, gay or straight, bisexual too, you know, love yourselves, you know, before you love anybody else. And that's what it's gonna take, man. And for anybody out there that's again feeling that mental anguish. And, and that's holding it in, that's, that's in the closet, and that's afraid to come out. Uh, I'm not here to rush out. I, I, I can't say this, being being real with you guys, I have thought about, you know, being a lesbian, you know, and what it would be like to be with one, but I had to ask myself and really be true for myself. 
I personally, I've, I've never had those feelings or romantic feelings for a woman. And personally, I, I can't stand women as friends. And so it's, it's, I don't see myself dealing with them relationship wise. And so as well as having, you know, a lot of lesbian cousins in my family, most of them would tell me, you know, it's worse to be with a female because they're more jealous and we argue more. So it's true, you know, women are naturally, you know, more jealous. And so, um, on that on that principle that alone as well as you know getting sexually involved i also thought about being a pillow femme you know where i just you know get hair from a female but i also i had to ask myself you know i don't want to to get involved with somebody and mislead them i care about a person of whether they they male or female not to mislead them or play with their feelings and so as far as being a pillow femme goes I decided not to go down that road because it can lead to some trouble. It can it can get, you know, feelings involved and the other thing, not mine, because I'm already sure for what I like, you know. Um, but I don't want that that female thinking, you know, hey, this is a relationship all the while for me. I'm just getting mine, and so that's why, you know, I, I, flesh wise, I, I just dismiss that. But emotion wise, I'm not interested in the female. So that that for me, that's that's pretty much a done data as far as. Uh, 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 anything else that's nobody's business like like I said for me I'm a person I'm a private person even though I'm sharing you know my my opinions and personal you know some of my personal testimony for the most part I'm a private person and so what you do behind closed doors and what I do behind closed doors is my business but I don't mind telling people it ain't your damn business but <laughs> so that's that um, but, I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I just I can't keep going back to it in, in the dedication of this video and standing with those and being proud of who they are, no matter you know what they do and who they're with. I, I say that again, keep your head up and, and don't you know let what people think about you determine you know your aptitude in life and where you're going in life. There's nothing in the rule book that says a gay, a gay person can be as successful as a straight person, man. No matter what your sexuality is, where you come from, your background, your success does not is not determined by your sexuality. So don't let that be the reason why you don't become successful in life. Don't don't let that be the excuse either. Okay. So again, the emphasis on going where you celebrate it and not where you tolerate it, man. Stop wasting your time trying to gain people's acceptance or worrying about their acceptance. Just be around. Don't worry. Like what I've learned, like I said before, one thing I've learned from number 45 is no matter who you are, what you're about in life, what you are putting out there into the universe, it's going to be somebody out there condoning what you're doing. So, again, go where you celebrate it and not where you tolerate it. Don't worry about people with those who don't love you or that's trying to talk down on you or dismiss your lifestyle. It's going to be people out there that's going to love you just because and beyond your sexuality and they can see past your sexuality. And again, remember, your sexuality doesn't determine who you are and what you are in life. It is just a part of who you are. And you shouldn't have to hide it or be ashamed of it. And it's, it's me personally, you know, being a strong black woman as I am, if I was a lesbian, I would live out and proud and wouldn't give a damn of who said anything about it, who felt about it, knowing people who knew me and know my, my personality. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck. So if it was me, I'd be out and proud. You know, what the people say about me and what they think, you know, if I'm, I'm a lesbian to them, oh, well, I'm a lesbian. And so I'm okay with it. One thing about it is I love me. I'm confident and comfortable with who I am, and I know who I am. So it doesn't matter what they call me. It's what I answer to. That's all that matters, and that's all you guys need to know. Okay, and it's going to be people out there that love and care for you no matter what, a.k.a. allies. So, uh, one thing I know about the people in my family that's, that's gay, I'd I be damned if anybody say or do anything to them and don't think I ain't going to clap back on it. So, I got my people's back because I know they got my back. And so, uh, shout out to those again out there in the community living out and proud, you know, lesbian, gays, transsexuals, they, they, Pansexual, y'all look at here. Y'all got too many alphabets. So, <laughs> uh, the gay community, everybody that's a part of it, allies included, you know, happy Pride Month to you guys. Uh, be safe out there. Practice safe sex. Uh, <laughs> and, and be uh, who you guys are. But have fun and be safe and enjoy yourselves and, and ignore the haters. That's how we're going to end that. Okay? So, with that being said, you guys are going to move on. Happy Pride Month for those uh, in close out for June, you guys. Uh, uh, be proud of who you are. 
Uh, don't forget, you guys, go to my website and get my book, uh, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Wait a second, y'all. Y'all know I got it on me. Hold on. Let me get it. Where is it? <laughs> boop, boop. Here you go. <laughs> so, y'all, make sure y'all go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. It's, again, a book that's written to inform and encourage thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So, again, be advised that this is for grown folks only. So, if you can't take the heat, then don't bother coming to this kitchen, okay? Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. What else we got coming up? Um, so, I just posted uh, my Mother's Day video a couple of days ago. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well as I just dropped my Jamaica video. I'm doing them back to back to back. I know, guys. It's been so busy this month. I posted about five or six uh, content videos for the month of June. So, it's a lot. And keep in mind, we got July coming up uh, as well as um, I'm going to be doing a social awareness issue on abortion rights and so you know we just got that um, overturned from the Roe versus Wade uh, uh, case and so that's been overturned to where abortions are illegal in most states now and so I'll be doing a vlog on that you guys so be on the lookout for that as well as some more podcast interviews I'll be posting and some more travel videos I got coming up for the month of July you guys so um, closing out don't forget, again, remember, for those in the community or whether if you're not in the community, anybody that's listening to this, man, my message is for everybody, not anybody specific, but for everybody. Again, it's okay to not be okay, but don't sit there and not be okay, okay? And it's, for those who are out there and that's gay and, and it's fighting those mental issues and those anguish of, of feeling suicidal and taking themselves off the map, don't. Stop what you're doing right now and know that you matter. I don't know you, you don't know me, but I care about you enough to know that your life matters. And you have that right to live the life that you want to live, no matter what nobody says. So, so you guys, until next time, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe this video. And then remember, whatever it is in life that you're that feeling that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.